Hey guys, how's it going today? I'm going camping in just a couple days and I thought it would be really fun and helpful for you guys to go through like a camping checklist. So we're gonna get into that right after this. Hey guys, so like I said, I am actually gonna be going camping in two days and I'm here, I'm kind of going through everything that I have and kind of comparing it with my friends. So I thought it'd be super helpful to make a video camping checklist for you guys to kind of go through it and make sure you guys have everything you need for your campsite, cooking, um, you know, miscellaneous stuff, health and hygiene, whatever, different things like that to help make your camping experience probably one of the best and most efficient ones that you can when you go out camping, wherever you go. So the first thing we're gonna start with is your camping or your camp site. Some of the basic necessities or everything that you need to get ready to go camping. Obviously your tent, I have my Mountain Hardware one here. This is the Mineral King 3 Mountain Hardware tent. Super excited to use this out for the first time and go out and try it. I've also got my sleeping bag. This is the Bozeman 30 degree Fahrenheit, negative one degree Celsius Mountain Hardware sleeping bag. You can tell that I like the Mountain Hardware brand. Um, I have their tent as well as their sleeping bag. So I have my sleeping bag. I also have my air mattress here, all set, ready to go. You can use a cot if you want. You can use uh, mattress pads. I'm not a big fan of the mattress pad. I tried one. Not a big fan of just kind of how low I was. It kind of felt like I was personally sleeping on the floor. So I got myself this Sierra design. Um, I think it's like a queen or a full from Costco. One of the other things you wanna have, camping chairs. These are those typical ones that you see out that are, um, you know, like you see them at the beach. You see them, I call them the soccer mom chairs because you see them a lot of like sporting games and stuff. But this one, no sponsor needed, but this was from Valley View Casino because they were giving it away for free. So my parents got like four of them, taking this one camping with us. Some other things that you might need, definitely lanterns. You can tell that I got these from Costco. They are not opened yet, but I'm super excited to try these out. Um, they come with batteries, so that was one of the reasons why I bought this. But it was also on sale too at Costco, so I'm super excited to try out the lanterns. And just a little bit more lighting. Um, I have my headband here. This I got from REI. I'll link all the things that I have down below in the description box. Um, but this specific headband I got was from REI. It's got three different settings. I'll shine it down. Low, medium, and high. And also it goes red too. So there's a red light. I don't have to disturb anyone if I get up in the middle of the night. If I need to go to the restroom or anything, I can just throw on the red light. Headlamp, lasts me pretty good month with a solid charge. That's just me and how often I use it. Not saying everyone's gonna get the same thing, but some of the other things that you might consider bringing for your campsite to kind of make your camping experience a little bit more pleasant, um, like a pop-up tent, one of those shade structures, hammock, like I said, cots, and if you don't wanna use, um, a mattress pad or um, a blow-up mattress, firewood, of course, for, you know, roasting s'mores, roasting hot dogs, whatever. Um, maybe a tablecloth for if there's a table that's at your campsite or if you bring your own pop-up table, you want to put a nice tablecloth on it. And then if you are going camping for a couple of days, maybe clothesline with some clothespins on it so you can dry bathing suits, any t-shirts that get wet, anything like that. The next topic we're gonna to talk about to bring camping with you is tools and repair items. This is probably something that a lot of people don't think about, but things like a multi-use tool, so like a Leatherman, anything like that, duct tape, extra cord, bungee cords, um, tent repair cords or tent pole, like repair sleeves, if you have them, you can get them on REI, uh, mattress or like mattress pad repair kits in case you get a hole in your mattress, then you're not gonna have anything to sleep on. So you wanna make sure you bring some mattress pads or like a repair kit for that. 
a mallet or a hammer if you need a hammer in the stakes into the ground and it's just a little bit tougher you can't push it in like if it's a regular dirt maybe a saw or axe if you need to chop firewood um, and maybe just a small broom or a dustpan if you get if you track in dirt into your tent you can use that dustpan to kind of just collect all that dirt and then throw it out of your tent Next item we're going to talk about is some of the kitchen checklist things that you might want to bring with you. Now, I'm lucky and some of the other people that I'm co going with have all the kitchen stuff and they love to cook. So they've got majority of all that as far as uh, stove, fuel, different matches and stuff like that, uh, pots and pans, utensils, bottle openers, can openers, sharp knives, paper plates, uh, towels, different things like that. They have all that prepared. But I've got some stuff as well, and I'm going to show you what I have that I'm going to be bringing with me and throwing into like a camping bin and just kind of keeping it off to the side. So if I ever go camping again, I know I can just grab this bin and be ready to go. One of the things I have in here are waterproof matches. This and the fire starters that are here I got at Target. They were both just like $2.99 which were a lot cheaper than I, than I saw at an REI. Just in case we have little Bic lighters, you know, they are the simple ones that you press down on and they go like that. Next, we're gonna be making some like s'mores banana desserts. We kind of already have our menu picked out for the couple days that we're gonna be there. So one of the some cool little things that I got are these 32 inch bamboo skewers which I found at Walmart for only 88 cents. Some of the other things that you might want to think about are some like ice or gel packs. Also, one of the other tips that you can do, this is just an old bottle that used to have like an acai smoothie in it. I took the stickers off and I just filled it with reusable filtered drinking water. If you freeze this and throw this in your cooler, it'll keep things nice and cold for a couple of days. And then if you run out of drinkable water, let's say bottled water or just whatever kind of jugs that you have, you can use this and drink it. Some of the other things that you want to think about too are maybe a sponge. We have, I have personally two of these. So these are old cat litter containers that my friend had. I took them from her and I refilled them with just hose water. So just regular outside water that we're going to use for washing dishes or anything like that. This plastic bin that currently has food in it right now. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this as our kitchen sink with some of the water that I have in those jugs, we're gonna use those to wash our dishes. The last thing I have is this little guy right here, probably one of the cooler things. You basically attach this part to a little gas, little propane tank. I wish I had one to show you guys. You basically spin this around, lock it into place, open the little hinges on the side. That way I'm like a nice little kettle can kind of sit right on top. You basically hit the little fire starter here. This guy, this little knob right here, turns on and off the gas. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. There you go, yeah, righty tighty, okay. But basically super cool tool to kind of keep a nice little flame going. But this I'm super excited to use and try out. And that basically packs right into this little guy. So those are just some of the things that I personally would recommend as far as a kitchen checklist goes. Some optional kitchen items that you could bring with you. Things like maybe a camp grill or a grill rack, a griddle to go on top of a fire. We have a nice little fire pit that we're gonna be using a griddle on. Um, a Dutch oven, maybe some charcoal in case you guys can't find any firewood right now. Um, a portable coffee or tea maker. Some marshmallow or hot dog forks. Or like I said, you can get the skewers that I have here. The large water jugs, just little optional things if you don't want it if they don't have like um a faucet spigot to do anything like that just some of the, these are some of the things that you can use as far as keeping keeping simple as for going camping now the next thing i'm going to touch on very very briefly is some campsite extras so things that might be a little bit more of a luxury to you um whereas some people who might be actually like out mountain camping we are going beach camping so we're going to kind of be close by about 45 minutes or so but some of the different things that you could have me i'm going to be bringing my gopro and i have a backup gopro just in case i have batteries on batteries ready to go that are all fully charged as well 
pens, Sharpies, you never know when you can need them. And one of the other things that I have in here, I should say two, two of the other things that I have in here, uh, battery pack, just in case I have two of these ready to go. And then I have one of these little guys. You've seen these before. They're those little silicone thingy dry packets that basically say like, do not eat. I carry these guys with me around just in case, because basically what they do is they keep humidity and like moisture out of stuff. So I will keep this with my electronics in case a cell phone gets wet, in case my GoPros are waterproof, but in case a cell phone gets wet and we don't have a bag of rice, I'm gonna throw this in a nice little Ziploc bag. And then that will kind of help bring out that moisture in that cell phone or whatever. One of the other things that we have are games. So I have a couple games here, Avocado Smash, Yahtzee. I have just the papers, a couple dice and my pens in here. We have Uno and a deck of cards as well as Cards Against Humanity. Some of the other things that you could bring are like binoculars, navigation tools, reading materials, notebooks if you wanna journal your experience. And then if you bring your dog also with you, make sure you bring uh, poop bags, different things like uh, dog shoes if it gets super hot for their feet, um, dog gear, extra dog food, different things like that just to kind of all be aware of. Next topic we're going to talk about is clothing and footwear. I'm not going to show you any items because I have it all packed away in here as far as my clothing goes. Yes, I know it looks like I have a lot of stuff in here for camping for just a couple of days, but it's things like moisture wicking t-shirts, um, nice comfortable pants that I can also zip and make uh, convertible pants so I can make them into shorts if I need to, moisture wicking underwear that are comfortable that will last me if I'm gonna be out doing some stuff one of the days that we are gonna be there. Since we're going camping by the beach, we are gonna be walking down. So board shorts, things like uh, long sleeve t-shirts that are also rash guards to help with UVA, UVB sun protection, maybe just a lightweight jacket or a lightweight fleeced vest, whatever. Boots or shoes, I'm gonna bring these guys, which are my new Columbia Vitisse slip shoes, as well as just a regular pair of sandals with me. The last topic that we're gonna talk about, it, talk about is just health, personal hygiene, and safety. So you guys know I live in San Diego. Sunblock, 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 sunblock. Very, very, very important. So I've got different kinds here. I've got a kid's sunscreen that I actually really like to use. I've got a nice intensive sport one that doesn't run. And then I have two personal ones that I usually carry with me in my backpack or my pocket. These guys I got at the travel section. So I have these with me as well for sun protection. I also have this nice little hat that I got at Armstrong Gardens or something like that. Super nice, offers great sun protection. You can also bring sunglasses if you like to kind of help protect your eyes. I have yet to find a prescription sunglass brand that's pretty cheap. If you know of one, leave it down in the comments below and let me know. Some of the different things that you might also wanna bring with you, just your own personal roll of toilet paper. I think that just speaks for itself. If there's no toilet paper, you might wanna use something like this wipes. These are dude wipes. Um, I saw them at Target, thought it would be interesting to try out because I couldn't find any baby wipes at Costco. So I found these at Target for uh, $2.99. There's 48 and they're flushable, which I like. Bug spray. I don't know about you, but I personally get eaten alive by mosquitoes. So this is something that I will be carrying with me for sure. Chapstick. Just never know if you need it. Uh, your lips could get super dry. Hand sanitizer. Sanitizer break. <gasps> Gotta take a sanitizer break. Boom, nice, clean, multi-surface cleaning wipes. But I also have disinfecting wipes. This I feel like is also just a necessity to wipe down toilet seat if you go number two. Something like that, you know, kind of keep the bathroom clean. This I purchased also at Target. Um, you can tell I like to shop there quite often. But one of the things I like about Target and their first aid kit, if you, at certain times when they do this promotion, it's only certain times when they do this promotion. If you purchase three first aid safety items, you get a free little first aid kit, like this box here. So bandages, gauze, and like Neosporin is what I purchased, and I got this little case for free. In here, I have stock band-aids, tweezers, gauze, waterproof tape, 
Um, I have some Band-Aids in here, just, or not Band-Aids, but um, like aspirin in here just in case. I have Q-tips in here just in case. Also, very, very important, I feel like everyone should have maybe just a couple just some gloves in your first aid kit. You never know if you're gonna have to deal with a blood situation. So these are always a good safety concern to have in your first aid kit. If you don't have a pair of latex gloves in your first aid kit, I recommend getting a box and maybe just putting a small handful in there just to keep some first some gloves in your first aid kit. But a lot of these things, um, the waterproof tape, this small roll of gauze that I got, and a couple just gauze pads, I purchased at the Dollar Tree and I mean, they have great stuff. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope this camping video checklist really helped prepare you for your next camping adventure. If you saw some things in here that I have that you don't have that you might wanna suck up on, let me know in the comments below. What are some of the things that help you camping as far as a camping checklist that I might not have that I might be able to pick up from you? So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and it really did help you out again. If this does, if this video does help you out, please click that like button and then subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out a new video every Friday at 8 a.m. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.